I mean, this is kind of one thing that will hopefully unlock a major feature for us. Hell yeah. It would be quite nice to just zip zoom around. The other students are probably so jealous. We get so much, like, customizable drip. And they're like, how come he gets to wear all these outfits and we have to wear our stock standard uniforms? Why is there a feather in his cap? I have not a feather nor cap. Honestly, it's so interesting actually now teaching at a school with uniforms and seeing the way students can like make tiny customization adjustments to fit them. It's super cool and way cooler than just being bullied for, you know, wearing discount clothing as a kid. <laughs> You're right over there, Tadu. Mm, just reliving memories. Oh. I heard... a key. Rebellion. Oh, is that a sound I gotta listen for now, too? There it is. Where are we going? Where are you bringing me, little guy? Good thing it's got, like, a crazy sparks trail. Yeah. Once again, this is extremely silly, and I love it. There is quite a large window on when you can smack it, so don't worry if you're uh, not completely on time. Good, 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 good. <laughs> You're not expected to do, uh, you know, Professor Sakurai's one-frame window stuff. I said Professor because we got the thing there, but he's also a professor. I'm showing his videos for class. I know you fight. Why won't you tell me? Anyway, Professor Sharp has set us a new thing. Uh, it's to learn Defindo, uh, which is a severing charm. You may have used it in other Harry Potter games. We are going to save that for the next session, because I've already learned a spell or two. Whoa. Mm -hmm. And it probably has another requirement that's going to be a bit a bit tricky for us. I mean, these, these potions were already hard enough to get. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Magical. Show off. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. I mean, Everyone, if you're if you have a long object in your hand like that, you're gonna want to spin it. It's just human nature. Today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is first and foremost a means of transportation. Now you may remember Tanner from our uh, John True Philosopher's Stone. Were you part of that? I'm pretty sure you were. Nope. Nope, 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 not me. Fair enough. Must have been someone else then. But uh, the uh, controls of that for the broom were a little bit unwieldy, so let's hope they've uh, tightened them up a little bit. Flight controls either are the best or the worst. There's no in between. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Kinda really like her split cape. It's kinda sick. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Up. <laughs> that is the direction you have to push. <laughs> One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Oh, but the side saddle looks cool. Wizards are silly. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, Fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms ah, are school ah, property. I think I'll get I want them returned in one piece. <laughs> We're not exactly uh, breaking the sound barrier right now. No, I don't think we've unlocked the actual accelerate, I hope. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? And now we're gonna throw rocks at you as you're doing it. Oh, fucking roll. 
This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Ah, there you go. What a view. <laughs> now, Tanom, solve my maze. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Are you feeling it? Oh, the, the whimsy? The joy? I am, Tanner! I am! I love wood between my legs, Charlie! I love wood! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't be saying that out loud. I'm looking at this though, and my brain is going, God, imagine a Knights game with graphics like this. Also, what? Uh oh, that's scary. Yeah, a, uh, a giant squid lives in the uh, the lake. Hmm. I hope that's salt water then. Why am I worrying about it? It's wizards, there's magic. Like, come on. <laughs> I'll listen to that soundtrack go nuts. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Have you ever I touched broom tips with another student yet? I'm just saying, fun? it's exhilarating. Hmm, won't we get in trouble? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. No choice. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, hey, fun. it's uh, our outro the music. Isn't having tea by the window today. I was hoping it would flash up the controls again, because I feel like there's a, uh, a thing that I missed. It did say toggle speed, so maybe there's a... you press it again to go faster? Yeah, nice fly in there, Everett. Ah. Damn my fucking hubris. <laughs> oh, is it going to be like, you've unlocked turbo speed? Oh, Help yeah, here we go. Need to escape a tricky situation. Jesus. Uh. Speed burst on right there. <laughs> now that's more like it. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's a little bit in our DNA. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. Yeah. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. What? Yeah, there's no way we'd be able to hear each other. Even if you're on a bike at this distance, it's too much. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. Now to dive bomb Everett. <laughs> it's like we go straight into the teacher. She didn't teach us how to break. Okay, so speed burst, toggle flight speed, hold to dismount. I mean, I wasn't touching it, but that looked solid. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper. <laughs> you see our eyes. Oh, professor, <laughs> class is finished for the day. Oopsie poopsie. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. I need to tell you, we literally had no choice. We tried to not. <laughs> we tried. God bless us. So, could I just take one of these brooms? Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit, those views were worth it. <laughs> we look like we want to punch him. Perhaps 
Phillips, but we did get in trouble, and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. I don't you think I like this broom. Everett fella. If you had a fancy he seems like the type that continually gets Nelda. people around him in She's trouble, and favorite. he doesn't care about it himself. I show her a thing or two if I have my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom, then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. You just He's made up a sentence full of models. fake I'll words there. The <laughs> <laughs> you should go to Splungly Dorks at Broflorm. That is a healthy splorch of points there. Okay, where, where is this dingle dang? Oh, right there. Spintwitch. Which, I don't like it. The int part of it sounds kind of oh, slurisk. Sometimes it seems all wrong. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Oh no. Oh no, we're going down a dark path, I think. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Look at all this stuff we can't use because no quidditch. Weeks, is it? I'll be weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Okay, that's kind of a great, like, sweater for ugly Christmas season that I could legitimately see them selling as, like, one of those subtle designs. Got a few rare you weavers available. Ember Dash, Silver Arrows, Wind Wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. The only one of those I recognized was the Silver Arrow. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spintwitches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. Oh, trust us. We know. <laughs> yeah. Can't take a step out of here without some level 20 dude jumping us. You watch. The second we take off on our own broom, spiders on brooms will come at a cost us. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's better. A spider on a full-size broom or a spider on a, you know, broom that fits the size of their body. Take wind wisps. Well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the U one's darker reputation. That's what uh, Voldemort's one was made of. Known for its handsome appearance. Oh, what actually, yeah, the yew tree. I know about that because of fate. That's um, Robin Hood uses that, and it's poisonous if I'm correct. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. Let's see how much is this going to set us back. What are we looking for today? Oh. That's not bad at all. Moon Tremor. For stability. Light touch, quite literally. Hmm. That item is of the highest quality. Okay. Kind of like the brushy design at the end. Ooh. But the fire is really cool. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I mean, we're hellfire commentaries. We Thanks have to. to. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Here's the Go upgrade on. system. <laughs> Hope you're you not getting confused. Right you. Do you want jet I boosters? Be we'll give you jet boosters. Lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. <laughs> That's literally the game not being able to load enough if you go too high up too quickly. The performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Ah, Clever teacher's girl. favorite. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? I kind of don't care. 
<laughs> Me neither. <laughs> I'm sure you have a backstory, buddy. I we just want to get flying. Made a difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumored talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Thank you. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It will be worth your while. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Don't take then that chest on the way out. On I keep my money in there. Regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. <laughs> we literally just stole his money like I was Rebecca. making a joke about. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Another unidentified item. We're going to need to figure out how to do that in the future. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, right there. Good stuff. Another hearty chunk of experience from that, too. How do we take off exactly? Hmm. Or is it going to be locked behind, perhaps, uh, doing a certain number of things? Well, there's the broom there. Is there a button for flying? Actually, when you do that, it looks like it comes up with a you cannot use it here prompt. The uh, the item wheel has it on there. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Yeah. I think it's radial wheel and circle. There you go. Oh yeah, baby. Look at us. We're Harry Pottering. Yeah, the flames on the back are real cool. Ballin'. Straight ballin'. Now we can see everything pop in. Yeah, I can definitely feel that this is a little underpowered compared to the uh, the one that we had in the previous mission. This is not the only method of flight available, I'll just let you know. Also, the lack of, like, cool flying music is kind of also like... I don't know. I feel like there should be something here. Just play the Skyward Sword flying music. Just throw it in whenever you take flight. Hey you, Hufflepuff. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. Is that a euphemism? I to help him once. No, you he mean actually? Okay, my okay. Flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. Someone's for definitely some acting reason, like a Slytherin here. Exactly. exactly. I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Oh boy. This. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. You know, I hate this you, but in a way, that uh, is a bit endearing. And height, At least you have a character. Turn. I'll say you that for sure. Stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. 
got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. We got this. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. We're gonna beat you with an unupgraded broom. How are you gonna feel about that? Let's go. New mossy. Now we're getting the nice flying music. Uh. Uh, going a bit too fast. So yeah, the little rings are just for boosts. They don't actually give us uh, mandatory stuff. <laughs> I liked as you were getting slightly off course. The music was like, "Oh, let's, let's go away. It's, it's not not flying there." Success. Excellent. <laughs> it really is the faster, like the the more you are on the perfect line, the more the music plays. That's funny. As, as you get away, it's like, okay, no, no, guys, slow down, slow down. Music. Oh no, no, he's back on, he's back on. Get it fast, get it fast. <laughs> Adaptive music for your broom, no less. I could see these getting like super nefarious later with needing to do like hairpin turns. Orchestra's going kind of ham. I love it. Yeah. Again, I'll, I'll say this. While it's important that this is kind of standing a bit on its own from the movies, the fact that it has a bit of the soul of the movies as well is really nice. Like, musically. Setting the mood quite nicely. Oh, what now? Uh, that's not... You, you must have cheated you... Ugh. Watch it end up being like those like yellow warp points we got was actually over. ancient magic and we were actually cheating. <laughs> Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? No, I like her. Let's say all right. All right. Yeah. We need a rival. Challenge accepted then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. I'd love someone to make a mod for this game that just replaces her with the uh, talking clock from Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> Uh, and the uh, off-brand celebration. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Tra -la, la la I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Oh, Mr. Weeks, we did the thing. Let us fly faster. Da 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 Ooh. Man. I have to say, a lot of a uh, lot of people here. Ooh, nice. Can't get there just yet. Uh, a lot of people here, though, have pictures of them going to like the Harry Potter um, theme park, Hogwarts at a, uh, you know, Universal Studios. And I gotta be honest, I kind of really want to go. I kind of want to see that. Yeah, we were planning a big old trip out there uh, a while back, but alas, money, time. Global pandemics. Yeah, well, thankfully, that last one is hopefully almost done, right? The castle must have been quite stately in its time. This is really cool. It is nice that you can just now fly around. I mean, at this point now, it's whenever we have a mission, getting there is going to be nice and easy. Oh, an anti-flying field. 
A little bit silly, but whatever. You do you. You know, it's silly, but I believe it's super believable. I mean, you wouldn't want people just flying around here, so... Hogsmeade, here I come. I mean, it must suck having to park all the way, you know, across from your job and stuff, but oh well, oh well. Oh, you're back! We've something to report, I hope. I was able to set a record. Mr. Wheat, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A Good, I want faster. And it's wanting for faster, speed, faster. But Give speed well now, please. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed to know. She hasn't the faintest Drifting idea of how to fix this. I shall get to work immediately. He just it literally wants to attach to rocket boosters. To That's all he can do. That's all he wants all to do. That line about drifting will not be in the Switch version. That's why it's been delayed specifically to take that out. That'd be freaking hilarious. That's a joke. <laughs> That's a joke. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> you know, in a couple hundred years, this guy would absolutely be a car brood. guy. Yes, very much so, mate. involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. Those lazy Italians <laughs> can't get him on a broom for the life of me. If Smevy could let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. Can't wait to hear more. Goodbye. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Oh, soon is like when we walk out and come back in, right? How to That'd be really cool. The issue of altitude as it relates to speed. Oh, not yet, it seems. You could just, like, buy all of them, Thanks I guess. Bye. Hope to see you again. Now we are getting on, so uh, let's pick one last thing and be done with it for today. Mm-hmm. Ooh, the room of requirement. We'll save that for next time. Yeah, because that's going to have a lot of stuff for us to do. Um. Oh, Pippin has a delivery thing for us. Sure. Might as well. We're right here. Anything to get more appearance things. Honestly, I'm such a simple man. You give me the reward of cosmetics, and I will do whatever you ask of me. It's fine. I want to dress up my virtual doll. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. Yeah, especially now that we can fly. Reports. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. <laughs> Lawang. Penis. <sighs> taken to turning every visit into an argument. We are a bunch of fucking hacks. About the I mean, we've had we've had Babcock, we had Lawang. We just need one more to complete the trilogy. To brew. If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. She sounds annoying. No, I like hard work. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. We she literally really don't know anything point about point her, and we're just... Really sounds like an annoying person. He's like, what? Well, she's my customer. What do you expect me to say? That slivering behavior. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. And by that, I mean her vagina. Good day. Me. Hey. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, do we, did we, yes, I was going to say, did we actually get the invisibility potions or would we have to actually, you know, make them ourselves? And thankfully he just gave them to us. Help. I'm okay. Trying to get to the outskirts so you can fly as soon as possible. <laughs> sure am. Nope, can't do it. Oh. Felix Felices. Right there. I think that was part of the pre-order thing. 
Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. I think we're in the valley. We should be good to go. Yeah. Beautiful. Where the fuck are we going? Uh, it's on the map there. All the way over there, two kilometers away. Get some beautiful vistas, though. Yeah. You know, speaking of, I do have to wonder how the Switch version of this is going to go. Because, of course, they did say that they are doing a true non-cloud version, like it'll all be on there. But it feels like that's a lot for the Switch. Um, not that the Switch can't run big games. It just has a hard time running big games. Nice. Yeah, take that water. <laughs> the water all starts to fly out of there. <laughs> the entire lake raises. Is there anything on this little island? I'm curious. Right, you look at this and you're like, is this just here because it was set dressing for the movies, or... Well, there's a box. Light Desert Scarf. It's awful. Well, at least we can customize how we look with it later. See if there's any enemies to a cost. Hello. Those are students, not enemies. Hmm. They could be enemies one day. This looks like a puzzle. Incendio. That's a flame icon. Pull it towards us. Oh, there we go. This looks intriguing. <laughs> we just walk in and it's like the pit of 10,000 trials. Fatima, are you in here? Gold rimmed circular spectacles. Ooh, oh. Gold glasses for our gold robe. Tanner's really into this, though. I'm into gold. Oh, yes. And number go up. I can't tell a fucking difference. That's all right. It's all about that subtle style. As for the room of requirement, that's going to be our next big part. Oh, yeah. That's an important thing to get, because, you know... These mysterious items, I feel like there's a good chance that they're better than regular items because of the extra effort you need to go through for them. I like you've seen how we make potions and whatnot so far. Did that seem too grindy to you? I feel like if you want to get a lot of them, it would be a little annoying. But the fact that you can just go buy them makes it a lot easier so you don't have to worry too, too much. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? You think we. Do, does, you think that means anything to us? It, it actually doesn't. You think your hyphenated surname gives you power over me? Oh, people with hyphenated you surnames see, think they're so good. Something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake doesn't sound too appealing. An underwater adventure sounds like fun. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. Do so do I get like a intriguing? spell or Here's some ago, magic equipment? He's like, no. Get in. Right now. Yeah. Go. Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. See, this is what they mean by like fetch quests. I'm so sorry. Like they make up the majority of the side quests in the Hogwarts Legacy. This is really cool, unique ones. But they're mostly like this. 
feel like that's pretty much all big open world game design, how it works. It's real tough to make, you know, ton, you can either do tons of lesser quests or only a few but more detail. Or, you know, a mix. I may be able to bring my father some peace. Should I know who your family are? You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pench Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. Oh god, you the are Pench a Slytherin. The name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. This is like the kid in school who, like, you can't talk back to because he's mm. like, um, you're talking to a future corporal major in the, I you know, understand. defense force. It's like, but oh my god, buddy. I'd be forever buddy, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. I want it to be just right in the cave we there. just came from. It was <laughs> right there. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Oh my god, hold up. Is there actually, like, a whole underwater lake, too? I, I won't go that far, honestly. Oh, just there. I am all sodden. I'm a wet fella right now. I was gonna say, might as well fly out there. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. It's a good thing our, our wizard can, you know, swim for seemingly a long time. Wow, that was just it, huh? Just three Wiganwald potions? Okay. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. I'm feeling a little bit petty right now, because to be honest, I feel like you could have done that yourself. Hello, Grace. I mean, if you're so rich and famous, why don't you have a broom? Oh, <laughs> wow. Descendo. <laughs> he took a knee. What say you, Tanda? Or do we just want to keep it? I mean, she can have it, but she's gonna learn the hard way that you gotta fucking pay. Okay, okay. I did, but it wasn't easy. I shall need to be compensated. I see. I mean, it was That's easy. It was just the hard part was getting wet. A reward, so to speak, for finding the buried treasure. Thank you for recovering it. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. 20! I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. <sighs> oh, and a mermaid mask. <laughs> I was gonna say! <laughs> Any who's of these. Make sure we put back on our, uh, our, our quests so that we can know where we're going two whole kilometers away. It's like we go to her and she's like, why are my potions wet? Uh, well, you see. Lady, you don't want to know. Yeah, it all started with a Slytherin girl. It's like, is it the freaking Sminch Meldley family? You know it. Oh, uh, yeah. Completely forgot the name already. <laughs> <laughs> We're this fucking open ass world. It's a lot to it that thankfully now we can just fly on over. How's it going on with this? Can you bop it? Tried to. Twist it? Shout it? 
I, I'm literally trying to. Ooh, yay. Balloon. I really hope that these are just being put up for like a celebration and we're just ruining their hard-earned work. We pop up the balloon. We got a challenge of doing two of those. Who the fuck is that here? We just go down, it's like level 4,000 hell spider. Hello. Bye. Eight legs. I see the mission for that was to summon two enemies simultaneously. That's a bit confusing. I wonder what that means. Summon, summon Akio, maybe? Maybe. Or there's summon magic that we haven't learned yet. Oh, we did upgrade. Oh, is this a new charming little Hamlet? It's like a place right out of a... Always late that <laughs> you said that about the last Hamlet we went to. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did mm, he you sound like you two don't have the best relationship. Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why did you buy them, then? Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. Is it a who cuts judge. the hairdresser it's thing, where it's like there's two hairdressers in town, product. so you go to the one with the messy Unlike hair, vendors, or the one with the, the clean hair, yeah. so you go to the one with the messy hair, because then that means that he does it better because he cuts the other one's hair. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. Ma'am, I'm just trying to do my job, please. Take the these. The Come on. Box. Drink it. Sure, why not? Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Can you imagine you drink it and she's like, Alright, now give me the three potions. Uh... <laughs> Now where'd you go? I need my potions! <laughs> wow, that did not last long at all. It seems to have worked. That feels like a you need to run well, from enemies right now and get them to not see you sort of as item. As you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? <laughs> not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Oh god, just fuck already. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. I mean, there if is kind I of a you, war between Ashwinders and everything else going on. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? The frickin' potions. What have you been talking about what with me with? For today? A fine choice. Exactly what I would have chosen. I fried eggs. Da, da, da. We definitely don't need to buy leech juice. No, sir. That could go. This will do just fine. That could go. Thank you. Buddy, buddy, buddy. It is nice to just clear out this inventory. I get rid of all of it. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Is this the same place where we were before? Don't actually know. Rebellion. The Tilted House.
it sure do be a house that is tilted. Hello. Goodbye. Ooh, a golden snitch scarf. <gasps> gold scarf for our gold outfit. We will wear it once we've done this, once we've earned it. What silly thing are you making us do? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Seriously, what are you making us do? I would have thought it'd be out on the water, considering it's here, but... Not sure how I'd fare in we can't, uh, Revelio, uh, Rebellion. path or anything? I can make it. It's not that, but we want to grab this, obviously. Galleons are plenty. I'm not even seeing, like, a uh, Telltale Sparkles. Yeah. Yuck. Oh. Rebellion. Like how we just stole that. Oh. <laughs> Drinks sitting out are perfectly fine to take. Oh my god, it's a town full of drugs. Okay, I will not be bastard by this fucking thing. I mean, it's still activated. Where do you want me to go? I am seriously perplexed. Oh. I was going to say, there's a large thing up there. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. It's definitely around here somewhere. It could also be across the bridge. Because that seems like a nice little challenge to get it across the bridge. See, look, he has a new thing. Oh, yeah. Now he's got a little snake trumpet. A snumpet. A snumpet, as it were. Where the actual fuck did that ball go? Oh, it's back. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that we need to bring it across the bridge. This bridge? I'm assuming at least, because it makes sense to try and get it somewhere. It's not up on there, but I don't think so, you're right. We can just have a quick look across the bridge. Aha! I was right. Levioso. Nope. You got it wrong again, Tom. Capulso. I will let gravity do the work for me. This will be so loud for the people in town. Just like the thud, the thud of you know it hitting the ground. There's another wizard trying to solve the Merlin puzzle. That's a fucking Breath of the Wild puzzle. Would be proud. I was literally just going to say that this is the most Breath of the Wild thing I've seen in a game. Nice. And then with that little gazebo, we've upped the land value for this whole place. Isn't that lovely? We sure have, Tanner. <sighs> Here is a graveyard. Reveal to me your secrets. Rebellion. Oh, good. Oh, that's a secret. Incendium. The living dead. Come on. We <laughs> launch an object with Depulso. Oh, 
Lol. That's one. Ow. Oh, hello. Watch this be like, you know, because we're in a graveyard, these guys will be endlessly spawning. Guys, you uh, maybe not want to live in a place like this? I mean, the houses are so cheap, though. I mean, for obvious reason, but still. You know what? I'm out. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> it's your problem now, town. Oh, this is silly. Oh, hey. I mean, since it's here. Nice thing is, it does pretty clearly show them on the uh, the mini map too. Ah, uh, here we go. Add more balloons. I should investigate. Protego, Expelliarmus, Depulsa, Incendio. Now it does have a subtle green hue. Is that uh, saying that we need to use a spell type that we don't have? Maybe, Tata, maybe. Because uh, I do notice that there is green spells. Rebellion. Accio. Levioso. Expelliant. Incendio. Yeah, it ain't budget. Accio. Incendio. There's a spider, though. That has nothing to do with what we have to do. <laughs> Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. Incendio. Yeah, I don't budge Yeah, I think we need some green spells. Everything seems pretty color-coded in this game. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Yeah. Oh, my bones are all aching and whatnot. I think it's time we give Mr. Pippin what he wants. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Boy, it just loves reminding us, hey, don't get beat up by enemies. Don't do it. Just drop to the floor <laughs> in the middle of the street. Well, you gotta sit somewhere. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? I delivered the potions. I delivered the potions. The she called yeah. you a hack. And, uh, oh, of course, she always does that. That's just our way of flirting. She's what the kids will call in a couple of years a sundere. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. I just want to apologize for all the accents that I'll be doing throughout the rest of this playthrough. It's It's just... It's impossible to not. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. There were fucking like zombies. I suppose that's business for you. Very hey, well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. <laughs> well, maybe you can deliver them yourself next time. Yeah, straight up your ass. How about that? Okie kokey. One last check in. Just to make sure the quests are going well. Uh, nope, that's on the challenges. Oh, that's a new one in the middle. I want the lucky leprechaun hat. Legendary armored attire. <laughs> More armor. Let's go. Spider Slayer. I think if it's a tire, it would be our under set. Underwears? Under there. Ooh. That's not bad. It's kind of subtle. Oh, damn you. Yeah, 
Yes. Yes. Eh, I wouldn't call that gold. That's just a variant of brownie red, but okay. Oh, we do have a fig. Uh, which one do you fancy, mate? Well, we haven't checked what the room of requirement ones do, so let's see what those do, because, I mean, we're going to be going there later. Make sure invulnerable and deflects projectiles back to enemies. That's not bad. Lasts for a longer period of time. I don't think we're going to be using these two too much, though. Oh, that's not bad, though. We'll have to be using more cabbages, which is a fun sentence I didn't expect to say today. Oh, my cabbages. Yes, indeed, they do. Well, folks, this has been uh, a pretty productive week for us here at HFC and uh, good old Hogwarts Legacy. So please join us next time. I'm trying to kill time so I can just go to Hogwarts and have a nice little, <laughs> little shot, as it were. Where we, I don't know, we pff, go kill some more spiders and whatnot. Mm-hmm. You know, spiders, goblins, any other horrible creatures that are there. Look at this beautiful vista shot. I'm just going to end it there. <laughs> See you next time for more of Hogwarts Legacy. Bye-bye.